Uh, my name is Shannon Brown. I'm the clinical director of Telecare SOAR. And um, there's, um, I was just talking um, uh, earlier about some of the great personal stories, um, or personal client stories um, that uh, I'm pretty proud of here at uh, the SOAR program. Um, there's a, a really a lot of great um, stories I can share, but you know, the couple folks that really do sort of stick out for me um, that um, I, I, I I, I, I see pretty regularly um, and I, I see the um, incremental changes and sort of the macro level changes that they've made and um, one guy in particular, he's um, probably late 40s, he came to us in February and um, he had been in a, a, a pop for uh, about six months or so and he had been um, uh, uh, diagnosed with bipolar and so he had a um, a long period, a pretty nasty episode, and um, and uh, so he had been in the hospital for a while. He'd been conserved. Um, he came to us, um, and uh, he came to us with uh, no place to live. His family had kicked him out prior to um, the hospitalization. Um, he had been living with his dad um, and kicked him and his sister. Well, his dad really, um, and uh, kicked him out, and uh, he um, lost his job. He had no um, uh, no Medi-Cal, no um, SSI insurance. He had no um, benefits really, um, and he um, and he came to us um, uh, with a, again no place to live, and um, really kind of came came to us communicating a sense of hopelessness. I, everything I had before is gone. I have nothing to look forward to anymore. I, I, my whole identity as a as a son, as a as a friend, as a worker, as a even a driver. He drove and had a car. He didn't have that anymore. Um, he said, "All oh, everything was kind of stripped away." And, and then he was living in a ward in care when he came to us because he was conserved, and we, we needed to find a um, you know a, a, a place that he would be eligible for as a conservatee. So um, in a period of three months, I, this isn't always the case for everyone, but in a period of three months, um, you know, pretty quick in the grand scheme of you know, sort of the process of recovery, but everybody's different. So for him, sort of a rapid fire engaged immediately in, in uh, the service that we had to offer, participated in symptom management groups, learned a lot about his, um, his, uh, his um, uh, mental, mental illness, and um, he asked a lot of great questions, and he was really um, uh, um, um, becoming more aware of his strengths and his um, capacity for change. And it was just a um, great transformation that we saw in him as he gained little, little things at a time. The first thing he gained was reestablished a relationship with his dad, which meant a lot. And he visited him a lot. And um, then over time, he gained his ID, got his license back, didn't get the car yet, but then um, eventually did actually, six months later into it. But, um, but I'm going forward. I'm about um, flashing forward. Um, after he had um, reestablished his connection with his dad, got his license, um, his uh, dad was so impressed, and so was this gentleman, our, our client, um, so impressed with his successes that he said, Dad, let me, let me work again. His dad said, well, work for me. And so he's working, he's driving, and he's living with his dad all right now, and he's looking to save up some money so he can go get his apartment. So. Um, and I know I've said this already, but he's driving. <laughs> um, it, he's got this great sense of I've got freedom again. I've gained my identity, the things that I, have, I, I, I value, the things that are most important to me, um, all came back. And, um, and he's still a part of our program, and he's still very engaged, he still goes to group. He, um, he's talking about um, uh, dating again, and you know, he's just, he's just alive again. And I think he's, um, he's really happy with um, where he is right now, and um, he knows that he has, you know, steps more to go, and who doesn't? And um, so uh, he's just, he's one that um, I'm sure one day he'll be on this video talking about um, how much um, he's benefited from being a part of, um, you know, this, this support, but that all, all the while he really had it in himself and um, just needed a little nudge. So we're happy here at SOAR to have been able to be a part of his life in that way.